I'm excited about today's testing because I have an opportunity today to test water and I'm in a hotel in Florida and I'm going to be testing two ionizing devices. The first one is over here on the, uh, you know, in the corner and that is the Nexus New Smart ionizer which is just really an awesome uh, ionizer. It's from Korea. It's got all the uh, KFDA uh, certifications and um, I just love it. And I, I'm just, I brought that with me traveling since it's, it's an inexpensive ionizer and you can do that with inexpensive ionizers. And it's not too big. I have another device here which is a filtering only device. It's the Alkaline um, Plus uh, just a, what do you call it, ionizing filter. Now, ionizing filters work on a di different principle than electric water ionizers. Uh, the ionizing filter will ionize basically using ma only the magnesium in the water, whereas the electric ionizer ionizes all of the good healthy minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, etc. So I really do like the electric ionizer better, but um, honestly, uh, this uh, the other one, the filtering only device, is awesome. And I and I really do. Occasionally, there's so much calcium in the water, and you get so much ionized calcium that I do kind of like to have that mix of having a choice of getting my magnesium, because that other device, the filtering only device, will add magnesium to the water and ionize it. So that's, that's actually, I kind of like that. All right, well, I'm going to show you all the testing today, but before I do, I'm going to show you, I've already done all the testing, I'm going to show you the results, but I'm going to do it again so you can see what I'm doing. Right now, over here in this glass, I've got the um, tap water from Florida. Now that is sitting, the meter probe that's sitting in there is a pH probe, and it's coming in at 7.8 which is is not bad mostly municipalities will try to alkalize the water a little bit so that the water when it passes through pipes and whatnot will not pick up the metal from the pipes which it will if uh, if it's uh, acidic and uh, just like the water going through your bodies will pick up the alkaline minerals in your body if it's acidic, so you don't want to drink acidic water. Anyway, that's another story and you can look at my blog for all that. Now the other, um, so I'm going to uh, show you the other, I'm going to put this in this water here. This water here is the water from the ionizing filter and I'm also going to show you this other meter here. Now, I, I'm just going to let that settle down because the, my pH meter doesn't particularly register real quickly while I'm showing the ORP meter. This ORP meter is showing you oxidation and I'm going to just put it in the, in the um, Florida water first. And actually it's it's not too bad, it's not really oxidizing. I'll say it's a slight antioxidant. So that's not too bad. Now on the um, on the ionized water from the filtering device, I'm going to just let it sit there for a minute. Sorry to go back and forth like this and it could be confusing so there is a link to my blog post underneath this video if you want to go look at that. And that way you can see all the data that you're seeing today on the video. You can see it in a more organized way. The pH got raised with this filter up to 8.8, .8, which is awesome. Alright, now in the um, electric ionizer, the Smart, it's going up to a beautiful 9.4, which I'm going to say is just perfect. That you, you pay a lot of money for that if you go to the store and try, try to buy 
the best water. Um, you know, they're the, the ones that have 9.5 pH really brag about it and charge you lots of extra money. But, um, you know, <laughs> this is ends up being a lot cheaper when you when you just have an ionizer and you make it yourself. I'm going to put this just back soaking in this water here. The, the, um, just the city water for a minute. Alright, so the filtering only device is uh, a bit about a negative 139. Now this water has been sitting here for a while so we may have lost some antioxidants just because of that. And the electric ionizer brings the antioxidant levels up way higher. And like I said, this has been sitting out probably about 10 or so minutes. So um, you're going to lose a little bit of those antioxidants just by way of that. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, and I could possibly try to clean this. The ORP meter does get dirty. and um, yeah, I mean, it, it actually just consistently gets dirty. And this probe has platinum on it, just a very thin coating of platinum. And you have to clean the calcium off of that because the platinum has to actually touch the water in order to register the ORP. And if it doesn't do that, then you're not going to get good, good. Uh, you know, accurate results. Let me see if that changed anything. One second. Rinse it off. All right, so this is the filter device. Not really. <laughs> okay. I guess I must have had it fairly clean. Oh, no, actually, on the electric ionizing device, it really made it go up like almost a negative 500. So that's that's probably closer to what it really is. The filter device is not going to get as many antioxidants as the other one. And that's just the way those are. You're, you're not using electricity so you're not getting the antioxidants. Alright, so now that you see pretty much the result, I'll show you how I did it. Alright, so first step is I'm going to come over here to the sink. And this is really kind of convenient because this little smart ionizer um, comes with a beautiful diverter and it's like a chrome diverter, very sturdy and you can it just screw it onto your faucet and then the water can still come in your faucet. You can wash your hands or whatever but then when you flip that lever, it's going to make the water come to your ionizer. Well, um, before I flip the lever, I'm just going to get some more of the tap water. And so that's the tap water cup. I don't know how you can see what I'm doing. So there's tap water. And then the next thing is I'm going to flip the lever. And now that's putting the water now through this hose. The hose is actually going through a couple of Pure Easy filters, which I love to bring with me because they'll get fungus, everything out of the water. They'll get everything out of the water. Which, you know, I mean, I love, I love really well filtered water. <laughs> so I really go the extra mile myself to do that. Alright, so now it's the, wa the um, water is going to go to this device. The, the way I, I've got everything shut off, but I'm going to turn it, turn this little lever here, excuse me, and I'm not going to turn it full on because I don't want too fast of a flow rate, but now the water is just filling up into that pitcher. So, I'm going to refill this cup here that has the, the filtered water. I'm just going to pour some of that in there and then stick this cup right there. 
Okay, the next thing, I'll turn that water off now. All right, so this is just such fun, moving the camera all over the place here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, the water is still going into that hose and going through those filters, but it's shut off. And there's a flow control knob on this electric device, a water ionizer device, and I'm just going to pour the old Nexus ionized water out, and I'm going to fill this cup with um, new. Really for the sake of testing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, I'm just going to go get a pitcher. Because I don't have a sink here to work with. I don't like to just take the first stuff out of the spout to test. So I'm just going to turn it on now and just have it flowing. Okay. So now it's just flowing. It's at level 3 alkaline water. I'm just going to take a sample and then turn it off. Okay. So. Now, I've got that sample on the left, <laughs> wherever. All right. So, now I'm just going to go through and show you the testing of it. Here's the tap water. This time, came in at 7.7. .7, very Oops, 7.7 .7, or 7.8. Okay, came in the same as it was last time. I'm going to put the pH meter over here. Oh, no. I sent the right one. This one is the filtered water. I mean, from the from the filter device, the ionizing uh, not pitcher. Ionizing pitchers, by the way, are the same. Use the same technology as this ionizing filter. Okay, that has to sit. I can see clearly that that's going to have to sit for a while. pH meters do have to have some adjustment time. While that's doing that, I'm not trying to confuse you, but I'm going to do the ORP. Okay, so we've got the tap coming in with just pretty much a close to zero. Now, the filtering ionizing, um, I've, <laughs> honestly, I forget what the name of it is, but it's on my website. Used to be called the Alka Stream, but the name has changed to Alkaline Ionizing Filter or something like that. So it's coming in at negative 241, which is really awesome. And then the ionized water from the Smart Electric Ionizer is coming in at like it's probably going to be negative 500. So we'll just call it negative 455. Okay, very good. So that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> go to my blog post to see all the, you know, the explanation and the charts so that you can uh, get the full picture without all this testing in the middle making things a little confusing. Okay, um, but both of these devices are awesome. I'm glad I brought them both with me. Um, comparing the taste of the water. I think um, I really like this, the um, electric ionized water that from the Smart better, but they're very similar. So I, I really even hate to compare the taste. They're both really good. And then um, as far as ionization goes, they've both, both got great antioxidants and great pH levels. Oh, I did forget to um, do the pH levels. <laughs> Sitting here talking was probably a good thing. All right, so this is the the filtered uh, ionizer, 8.7, and then the um, Nexus Smart ionizer, 9.4. So pretty much, or 9.5, perfect. 
So pretty much this is what I showed you in the beginning of the video, but just showing you after I've freshly poured everything. Alright, thank you very much.